Hey everybody, I'm Steve, CEO of Better Takes, and we are gonna show you today how to use our app, the Better Takes app. I have Bobby Firestone with me, and we are uh, we work for Better Takes, and we are also sports betters in our own right. So we're gonna show you, talk about, we're gonna talk about the, the program, we're gonna show you how to use the app, and then we're gonna tell a little bit about our personal experiences and how we use it in our everyday handicapping. So I'm gonna share my screen and I am gonna show you our app. Our app is uh, mobile only, it's not on desktop, but this is how it looks exactly the same. And I'm gonna start with NCAA because that's what I bet. So the way the app works, this is actually the first page you see once you sign in. We get right down to business. And the purpose of our app is to show you your strengths and weaknesses. Now we're all out there, we're all out there betting, we're making decisions, we get a lot of data, there's a lot of information, we're looking at the players, the matchups, and one thing that we kind of forget is, you know, we all have our different strengths and weaknesses. Some of us might be better at certain teams, certain leagues, certain situations. And a lot of the times these situations are complex and we might not be able to know it on our own. So we at Better Takes built a tool, we built an algorithm that actually has turned into several tools that helps you figure out what you're good at and what you're not good at. So you can help stop those bankroll leaks. You can understand your performance better, learn about yourself a little bit, and hopefully use it to maybe cash more tickets. Mm -hmm. So the and way I was, it works. Yeah, keep going, sorry, Steve. So the way it works, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through how it works, and I'm actually gonna show you my picks for today. I only bet college basketball. So what I'm gonna do is go through what we call the flow. And the way it works is you give the software your predictions. You tell the app what you're planning on betting. So you come to our app before you bet. Before you place the bets, you come to our app, you stick them in, and then our algorithm looks through your previous betting history, and it finds similar situations, and then it aggregates a whole bunch of variables into one number that we call the edge score. So the edge score is a representation of your proficiency, and it's made on the fly just for that particular bet. And I'll show you how it works. So I think uh, I think Providence is a good bet. Providence plus four is what I'm getting. So I, I just um, click these things. I'll slow down and show you. NC Asheville. I like NC Asheville. I'm actually getting um, six on Ash. I mean, I'm sorry. I like Radford getting six from Asheville. So I'm going to choose this bet, and then I can see a list of all the sports books, and I can pick the one that I want to use. It's not really important which sports book I pick. The important thing is that I get the odds correct. And I am getting plus six. So I'll, I'm going to hit this. I also have the option of using different confidence levels. Like if I think something's a best bet or a better pick, I can make it a two star or a three star. So you might not want to use that. I don't use that often. Everyone's doing well. I need a two star. But it's really surprising. It's really shocking when you do this because a lot of people assume that they're better stars, they're better picks, they do better in, but it's not always the case. A lot of times we find that people's one-star picks do better. So it's a great way to find out are the games that you think are better really more likely to cash. So mm -hmm. I'm going to make this a uh, one-star play, and I'm going to take um, Radford plus six and go down, I think, uh, Samford. Now, Samford, I'm not going to bother with the 0.25. I like the money line. Um, I'm getting 120, so I'll pick a 120. Woodford, I think, is a great bet. I'm actually getting plus two. I don't see plus two here. So here I'm going to enter my own odds. I'm going to say plus two, and it's minus a 110 bet. Not, not working on this uh, desktop. Okay, we'll do that. And I think George Washington's a good bet. I am getting eight here. And let's see, High Point, Lafayette. Um, what else was going to play? I think Maryland, two to one. I'm getting uh, 195, I think, is a good bet in this game. And uh, I think that's about all I have for today. Villanova, actually. I think Villanova is a lock in this game, man. Plus 140. Okay, so now I'm going to hit analyze. And I'm going to actually, I should pick some favorites, though, just to, um, I do like some favorites today. So I think, um, I think actually Nevada is a good bet. So I'll take Nevada in the money line. And let's get, let's see it. Because I usually uh, do favorites a little separately. I think, uh, I think Old Miss is a lock. And I think 250. Okay. So I'm going to analyze these bets. And now what's happened in, the, in that millionth of a second between clicking is that our algorithm has gone through my previous betting history. It's found similar situations. 
And now it's given me an edge score for all of these bets. And basically the edge score, you know, measures your proficiency and it's just another data point for you to use. So if edge score of 50 would mean that you have no advantage in that particular situation. For instance, if we were all betting on coin flips, everyone would end up with a 50 edge score eventually. Over 50 means that I have a uh, proficiency in that area and under 50 means I don't. Now we don't tell you what break even is or anything like that. It's just a measure of you know, how good you are in that situation. And in these figures, there's no outside data. We, we're agnostic as to the game. There's no data, there's no trends, there's no stats, there's no injury reports, looking at players, looking at matchups. It just as, answers the question, when you make this type of bet in this situation, how good are you? What usually happens? So it's a good thing to know. So now a lot of these, you can see my edge scores are in the high 40s. It's not that great, but you know, I'm betting for fun. So I'm still gonna make these bets. Um, and you can see your stats here. So this is my total NB NCAA stats. I bet almost a thousand games. I'm not doing so great. I'm about even. My away games, I'm a little worse than even. Underdogs, a little worse than even. In the beast, which is uh, a strictly safe beast, I'm uh, 14 and 13. And Providence, I'm actually good. And uh, Providence is a team I do well on. So that all, um, there's a lot more factors into the edge score than what's here, of course. This is just a little sample for you to have fun and look at. And so I've come up with a 47 edge score. So if you look down, now I start getting a little better. Here's Woodford plus two. This one, I have a 51 edge score. And um, that's a little more reassuring. And it might make me bet a little more on that game. You can see some, you know, so they're, they're, they're all very tight. Um, if there were some that were a lot lower, if I'm seeing some 44s, 43, I don't think I'll make those bets. But now I have some little better ones. And the better ones, surprisingly, are in the money line on those favorites. So uh, favorite money line, for some reason, I have, I'm better at. And I'll tell you, I would have absolutely no idea mm -hmm. if if I didn't have this app that I'm better at Facebook, at um favorite money lines than I am at just at anything underdog, mm -hmm. but apparently I am. And um, this is important information for me. I mean, these are good, these are big numbers, 54. It seems that I have an advantage in these situations and I probably will be betting a little more on those games because of it. And I do notice that the games that I have higher edge scores, I do tend to cash more. So I do look at these and every time I make bets, I look at these numbers, um, and uh, it's just uh, not only does it help me with bets, but it's just fascinating. It's really, it's really incredible. You look forward to it every day once you make this a habit into looking at your numbers and seeing how you do. So um, I'm going to uh, hand it off to Bobby now, and that's how I use the program. So uh, I'm going to stop my screen sharing. And Bobby, what do you think? Yeah, no. So I, I, a couple of things. One, I, I just want to say that part of the thing, you know, my, my interest in this from the very beginning was. We, I've worked in predictive analysis for what's going to happen in sporting events for the last 10 years. Um, I've done it my whole life, really, but I've really done it for the last 10 years, like as a job, uh, betting on sports, betting on DFS, that type of thing. The one thing that's not available is exactly what you were saying about knowing your own trends, your own tendencies, which I could argue is as an, as valuable in, in some cases, and some cases more valuable uh, that then possibly even the predictive analysis that you're getting from whoever you're getting it from out there. Now, some people are really good at picking games, but understanding why and what you're betting. Now, if you're an average person and you, you don't want, you're making two bets a week, maybe it's not for you. As you start to bet more and more, you really, really get some value out of it in figuring out what those strengths and weaknesses are from instead of a, a predictive analysis from a retroactive analysis based on everything you've done in the past. And I love that added, that way of looking at it, that you can see your past, your history, and this is telling you, and I mean, look, eventually in a few years, we're going to have everybody on every phone before you place a bet, it'll be popping up and saying this, whether it's our company or somebody else that does it, that is the way the world is going to work. You're going to get suggested other bets. You're going to get other, other things like that. But it all starts with your bias tendencies. And I'll explain it using my bets real quickly. Let me just get my screen share up um, for some reason. There we go. Uh, one second here. All right. So this is my NBA, for example. Those of you guys who are familiar with TrueDFS or you know even potentially better takes, you will have seen my, my information. I post my bets before every, every day in the Discord. And as you can see, I've done very, very well uh, with my bets. But the biggest the biggest thing you notice, and you see some 
some good and some bad ROIs there. Um, you see some good, some good and some bad edge scores. The thing that I've really learned, and I, I sort of had that suspicion anyway, because most of my life is guilt to, is built towards trying to understand something for DFS purposes, which is going to lead you to totals more than it is anything else. You're trying to find the game with that's going to score the most points, that's going to play the fastest, all that stuff. And I have done incredibly well with these totals. You can see on the overs, I'm 57 and 31 and one. With the unders, I'm 122, 81 and one. These are, I mean, again, if you, if you multiply them times 10, you're, you're not going to be able to basically do any better than this. This is this is, this is is as high of numbers as I've seen. And I'm not saying this to, to boost myself. I'm saying what I've learned is I have biases towards all these other things. And I just want to make, oh, I, I have a feeling about that bet. I like this bet. Instead of doing that, now before I click the, the bets that I select, I'm always already aware of the over-under before I am anything else. And I make more over-under bets currently than I do for actual game bets now because I've realized that is what my what my strength is. Um, again, and, and it makes sense. I, again, all my studying, all of my DFS-related stuff that I do would lead you towards overs and unders more than it would who's going to actually win the games. Um, so that that you can see that's my bet type. You can search up here in terms of totals, in terms of everything. Um, just just that's that's been my by far my strong my strongest suit, and that, that's been really helpful to learn. And since I've done that, I've actually made a lot more money with the bets that I've been able to make. Of course, I live in California, so I have to do the bets through offshore sites or through friends of mine. But uh, that is what it, that you know that that's where I'm at. Uh, money line, you can see I don't do nearly as well, and point spread, you can see even a little bit worse. But with the totals, I really, really, really have. I, I feel like I've really been onto something for a while now. Um, the same thing, you know, is somewhat true for NFL with me. Let me just see my, this isn't right. Oh, here we go. All bet types. And, um, you can still see a very good number on the totals, 82, 61 and one overall, but I've actually done pretty well with the game straight up. Now, you know, ignore the ROI for right now, because it's a little, we've got to fix a, a few things on the back end. but overall you can just see just in terms of wins and losses, you know, I, I've done, I've done better with the, uh, with the favorites than I have with the underdogs. And those are even including, if I just did it by point spread, I would bet you it's the same thing. Yeah, um, well, pretty close actually. Um, but you could see you know, where, where, where your real strengths lie. And I've really gotten a lot out of it just from the, okay, well now I know if I'm going to make big bets, I'm, I'm going to generally be doing it more on the total um, for, for any sport. Same thing for baseball, same thing for NBA for me, just because the, everything I do all day is leading me towards totals of things. Not everything I do all day is leaning me towards who's going to win a certain match. It doesn't mean I don't do well on the, on the matches. But one thing I love about using the product too, first of all, it's a lot of fun. It's great to be able to track everything. It's always fun. You know, you can look at your history. It's always fun when you have days like this, first of all. Uh, but you can see every everything that's happening. You, it, it updates you while it's happening. It's it's really, really cool. And it's very, very user-friendly. There also are ways that we'll talk about, you know, maybe on this show, maybe on another one. But, um, you know, you, you can you can invite your friends. We've got these circles, these groups that you can have. We, we're going to start eventually at True DFS, start hosting some uh, some contests with with our members. And, and, you know, whoever wins, we're going to probably send them a True DFS shirt. But we'll, we'll be using better takes to do all of that. Um, the real overall thing that I want would hope that you guys would take away from this is this is a different way of, of analyzing information that for whatever reason, people aren't doing to the extent that I believe they should be. And instead, we're all basing what we're, what we're predicting happening today, but we're not using our history to to, to go on that. Um, I, you know, let, let's say let's say you're a Dodger fan, and every every game you bet is on the Dodgers, or, or you know, as an example. Even those people, you'd think at some point you'd want to know, well, what what would actually be something that I could actually make money at, or at least not not be you know thirty five percent or whatever that whatever the, your edge score comes up for those games. Because we all have those biases, and especially the more you bet, you really want to have any, every extra bit of information you have is incredibly valuable as a better. And I think this this information, while maybe not as productive as predictive information, and, and everybody out there who knows all the betting lines and everybody who's historically been great at sports betting, et cetera, et cetera, may, maybe that's more valuable. But you cannot argue that this is not a valuable tool to, tool to have, and it's not something that everyone won't have within the next couple of years. Right now we're doing it for free. I suggest everybody gets in there. Also, as I've mentioned, I've done really well with my bets overall. Uh, I'm also posting my bets for NFL and NBA and every time there's games. Um, so uh, I would encourage people to check out the uh, the Discord at the very least, as well as uh, downloading the app itself, because 
there's not there's nothing we're asking for from you here. This is a free product for you right at this moment, and it, all it's going to do is use your information. Uh, take take your historic information, and and that leads me to something I wanted to ask Steve about for this thing, and I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. Steve, what? How can we uh, can we do a walkthrough of how the bet sync process works without using any of our own information? We because really I love can't to do that because I'm not in a legal state. I can show it a little bit. So one yeah. of the things what, what Bobby's saying is, you know, the, the program depends on you having back history in there, and we have a very easy tool to get your history in there. If you if you bet with any legal sports book in the U.S., we can download your entire bet history, and I can walk you through it a little bit. Um, uh, let me, uh, I can only get so far though, because I'm not in a legal state at the moment, but I can, uh, let me share my screen again. I'll show you where it is. Um, we're a new company and this isn't as prominently displayed on the website as we, or on the app as we'd like, but I'll show you how to get to it. So basically this menu, so this menu in the upper left is accessible from every page. And one of the, um, Choices is is my is my account. From there, you can check on BetSync, and you can see I have two sports books that are synced. And um, I travel to I, I go to a legal state from time to time, and that's what you're seeing. I can, you hit Link Sports, but it would look a little different your first time. Um, you can hit Link Sports Book, and it will take you a page uh, where you can link any legal sports book. And I can't get past this page. Actually, I probably can't even uh, get to this page. Oh, because of the. So anyway, the... so yeah, actually, this is this is the way it looks. So I won't get past here. But basically, you can link your sports books. You can download your bets, and you can start. You know, you can hit the ground running. Now, if you um, don't have a U.S. legal sports book, or actually, I should say, also Canadian legal sports book, just start entering. You won't get. You know, it'll take you a little bit to get results, but you'll actually get meaningful results before you before you realize. And even from day one, your stats are interesting. It's intriguing. It's great to look at your stuff. So even if you don't have, even if you're not able to download everything all at once, just start going, just start entering. And before you know it, it'll, it'll start giving you meaningful results and help your play. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And 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 one thing we we've talked about the idea of doing is is sort of a you know a better takes little show which talk, talking about some bets we like you know maybe we'll do it we, we talk about it once a month is to start off with but we'll maybe we'll start doing it every week if people are interested in it because I do think we have a lot to offer and I think the product is an incredible product I think everyone should have it I see absolutely no reason why you wouldn't be doing this right now um, even if you don't bet it's actually kind of fun to see how you would have done and see see what your biases actually are. Um, but I think this is going to be a, a incorporated into every all the sports books are gonna are gonna have to to partner with companies like this. Everybody's going to have these options because when you enter something on your phone, you know this is this is a great way of telling you, hey, before you before you bet on the Dodgers again and you're and you're you know you're negative whatever you're you're, you're you got a 30, 30 edge score. Why don't you bet on something you have a 55 edge score on the Giants like you like, you know what I mean? It's just so easy. And it also, as Steve's showing right now, he'll explain it, but like it breaks down based on everything, every possible matchup. And it's a lot more complicated, obviously, for college, but how you do in division, out of division, and it'll compile all that information, but it'll also give you all the individual details. Sorry, Steve, take it away. No, no, I'm just I'm just screwing around and showing it. Um that's pretty much uh that's pretty much all I had to talk about with my yeah. process. Man, look how horrible away games. Wow, 43. So yeah, so um, maybe you're you're underestimating the away games a little bit, you know. Yeah, that's... The dogs, the away dogs. I'm betting, I'm not counting. Yeah, so I'm I'm basically not giving enough. I'm I'm betting too much on away dogs. 42.8. That's horrible. Right. I'm just I'm just, you know, away dogs are big underdogs, right? I'm getting, you know, I'm just I'm just enamored with all those points, but really home team. So I'm basically underestimating the value of a home team. I mean, this is very clear and it's something mm -hmm. I wouldn't know on my own, but that's right. really what's happening here. Um, right. I guess I'm betting them. The thing, the no. interesting thing here is when you do have low numbers like this, what I've noticed is if you pay attention to them, they kind of self-correct. Like, you know, it's not like, you know, it's not like I need to go learn more about home games. It's not like I get some homework here, but it just gives me a little pause. I just add a little mindfulness and I say, you know what? I'm doing something wrong here. Whenever I like an away favorite, I need to chill for a minute and really think about it because uh, I'm just, I'm betting too many losing ones. So it just injects right. a little bit of mindfulness. And that's all that it takes to really correct the problem because, you know, we all have our weird patterns and biases. Like maybe, uh, 
you know, when you were first betting, so you told you home team with point was a great thing. And then, you know, maybe the first three you bet one, but then you're kind of screwed for the rest of your life because you always have this thing that it's a great thing. And you, you just get in these psychological patterns that you don't realize. And so just kind of being aware of them, you know, kind of, you know, brings you back to reality. And you can say, yeah, I have been losing a lot of those home team with points, but you just kind of get a narrative in your head that home team with points is a great thing. And then for years, you're kind of screwed. You just never know it though. Mm -hmm. So um, anyway, that's pretty much all I had to say. I do, I'm going to talk a little bit about like how to download the app and stuff. But first, do you have anything else to say, Bobby? No, no, no. I thought that was, I thought that was helpful. Any questions, okay. by the way, guys, you can hit us up in our Discord. Um, I'm pretty easily accessible. And uh, just make sure to tag me at Bobby Fi, or, And uh, I'm happy to try and respond and help, help you guys get through any questions you might have. And that's the Better Takes disc. They, they search on Discord for Better Takes. Is that the Better Takes. No, we'll, 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 we'll attach it to this video. Okay, cool. And uh, we'll also put the URLs. Basically, you can download, you can search for Better Takes in the Google Play Store or the um, iPhone Store, the Apple Store. And I'd love to hear what you think. I'm I'm the CEO. You can email directly at Steve at BetterTakes.com. You know, please check it out, download it, take a look, and I'd love any kind of comments or feedback. And uh, that's about it. So thanks a lot for paying attention. Bobby and I will be doing some more videos. And, uh, you know, good luck out there, man. Take it easy. Good luck, guys. Stop this. I actually.